everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog slash DIYs, a little bit of decorating. I'm not really sure. It's gonna be like a mixture of a bunch of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you had an amazing day, amazing weekend. I'm not sure when you're watching today's video, but I hope you're having a wonderful day at least. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna start building the bench and staining it, decorating it. That little area back here by my sliding glass door, I'll show you what I'm talking about this area right here. I need to finish this up. I never finished it. I, I've been jumping from one project to the next, <laughs> but I also wanted to share a few things that are coming up in an upcoming video. Okay, so before I get started on building that bench, I want to share with you some fun stuff that I got. So my mom found a set of six chairs out by the road and she snagged them for me and I cannot wait to redo these and put them in the house let me show you check these out they are so so gorgeous I like I can't I just I'm obsessed I'm obsessed so these are gonna be going in the dining room and look what else I got Ta -da! it's the vanity that I painted that is going in my bathroom you heard that right. My mom gave me that vanity. Yes, honey. I am putting that vanity in the front bathroom. So my mom watched the video back where I painted the vanity and she couldn't believe how many people were like, you need that in your house. So in exchange for the vanity, I'm going to help paint her table um, so that way she can sell that instead. Her old table, the table that she had in her dining room before I painted the last one. If you missed any of those videos, I'll link them below. But yeah, um... So that's exciting. I can't wait to get that makeover done, but that's going to be a huge project. So I have to order a new light fixture for in the bathroom. There's a lot of things I need to get for that project. So don't hold your breath on that one. It might be a little bit, but it will get done eventually. And um, the chairs, I got to do those. I'll show you what our dining room table looks like now. So here's the dining room. I'm not, okay, if I'm being 100% real with you, I don't love the way my dining room looks. I don't think it looks bad. I think it's pretty. It's just not what I envisioned. I like an old table. I want an old, like, I don't know, just different, something different. Like, it's not like what everybody else has. And I feel like a lot of people have these chairs and I love them. They're just not unique enough. So I want unique stuff. So I'm gonna um, redo those chairs, bring those in. I really need to redo this table too. The <laughs> the, re, um, the tabletop, it's in pretty rough shape. It's, I didn't do that table properly, so it didn't hold up like I thought. It was my first time ever doing a table, so you know, it happens. You learn, you live and learn. But yeah, those chairs are gonna look really pretty around this. I'm just gonna store the bench away for now in our shed, and then I'm gonna use these chairs right here for the back patio around that um, round table that I have. So I'll show y'all that too. So here's the table that I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna spray paint, the, like redo this, and then I'm gonna use those chairs around that table instead. Um, that way just everything matches. It'll look really nice. It'll match with these um, chairs. And yeah, I think it'll be really pretty. Plus, um, in my cleaning video, I shared that I got a ton of these solar lights from Dollar Tree. So I have actually been putting them out. We need to remulch all this area and stuff. It's just a work in progress. Um, and then my O cedar mop broke, so that was a bummer. But I got all these bushes and stuff planted. I need to do some weeding, remulch. Got a lot to do. There's always projects to do. <laughs> all right, so the kids are having some chicken nuggets um, with some carrots and grapes, and I am pre-making some breakfast burritos for lunch, breakfast, just whenever I want them. I love breakfast burritos. I just am terrible at meal prepping. I just feel like it takes so long. I just don't like to do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and prep this now while I'm in the mood because as soon as the kids are done eating, um, it's quiet time so that way I can go and get some of my work done. So I need to go outside and cut that wood and work on putting that together and staining it and stuff. But it's a lot easier when I'm doing some things when I wait until the kids are resting. Um, and then sometimes what I'll do, for those who have, who have asked in the past, or like in previous videos, how I keep the kids occupied with projects, 
sometimes I will like include them into it. I'll let them paint while I'm painting or I'll give them like scrap wood and they'll pretend to build stuff while I'm building. It just really depends on what I'm working on and how the day is going and stuff like that. Every day is a little different, so it just depends. Um, but I'm going to make me one more coffee too because I just need the energy today. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm having one of those days where I have all these good plans and I'm kind of moping around like, oh, what can I do now? Or I just don't know where to begin. So I'm going to eat, get some energy, and then um, get started. Mom is making <laughs> some homemade little sausage burritos. Yeah, sausage for burritos, and she's making these eggs. Yep. Whenever you're making eggs, you want to go back and forth. You don't want to crush them up because then it makes them not fluffy. If you like fluffy eggs, you just want to go back and forth with it. Yeah. Back and forth like that. Just kind of roll them. Look how good that looks. Yep, so nice and done. And you add salt and pepper after they're cooked. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do some sausage. Some eggs. And some peppers and onions across the top like that. Okay. And we are going to fold the sides and roll it up. Just like that. And we're actually going to put it back in the pan and cook it. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so if you are wanting to recreate this bench, definitely go grab a pen and a paper really quick and I'm going to give you all the measurements. So you're going to need two pieces of wood, a 2 by 4 by 8 and a 2 by 6 by 8. The 2 by 4 you are going to cut into a total of 8 pieces. The first four will be 15 and a half inches long and the second four will be 8 inches long. Then moving on to the 2 by 6 by 8 you're going to just cut that directly in half or however long you want your bench to be. After getting all the wood cut, I'm just going to quickly sand down the edges so they're not like super rough and then we're going to start putting everything together. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling everything together and I'm taking the eight inch two by four and placing the 15 and a half inch two by fours on the outside. I am using my nail gun just to help hold it in place, but this is not necessary. You can just use a screw. Um, and I wanted to quickly thank The Rehab Life here on YouTube for creating a super easy tutorial because that is the plan that I decided to follow today. I just watched the video, I took down the measurements, and I just, you know, went off a memory of what she said, and it was the easiest project ever. So I will link their channel below so you um, can check it out and how, you know, they just really explained it great. So I'll be sure to link that below. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and attach our little squares that we made for the legs. And I put mine at two inches from the edge. That way they were both even on both sides. And I accidentally messed up on the one and I ended up having to um, take the screws out and fix the board because I didn't make sure that the two by sixes were level and even. So definitely make sure you do that. Um, but if you're like me, you just learn from your mistakes and you fix them and you keep going. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the day time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for We just got back from uh, getting some ice cream. I didn't get ice cream, the kids got ice cream. Um, it was just random. I was like, you know what, y'all want some ice cream? My son hurt his leg and it was a rough day. So I was just like, let's just go right before dinner <laughs> because I'm winning as a parent. But they didn't eat all of it. They just had like a couple bites. We're gonna save the rest for after dinner time. Um, we're having hamburgers tonight and potato wedges and I got the bench built. I just need to sand it down, or wood fill, sand it down, and then stain it tomorrow. But tonight, since it's Monday, I wanna have a good start to the week. So when my husband gets home, um, I'm gonna go and do some of that shopping that I need to do. So that way he can just watch the kids I can go. It'll just be a lot easier that way. Um, so that is the game plan. And I'm probably gonna bring you guys along with me, cause why not? I like taking you along with me shopping. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. I kinda just like, you know, have a good time. And it's always fun shopping. I mean, who doesn't wanna go shopping? <laughs> loving this like dark navy blue I think this stuff is gorgeous with like the green I don't know it just looks so good together that's super cute I love that oh look how this is so little it's a great pop of color
of course, I really like the dark look lately. I've been really liking like the dark black. Oh, this is really cute. This is the little tiny wreath. So expensive here though. I'm thinking a cute pillow would be nice. I like this one and this one. Is it weird to have a pillow on that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I act like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Gosh, it's so expensive. I'll just buy a pillow cover. Okay, these are the floral stems that I have been loving that look so authentic. Like, when they're in um, like a vase, they look alive. So I'm gonna get some more of these. They're on sale again. Um, so not too bad when they're on sale, but I just like to have these on hand. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna get four. I'm gonna get four. Because these are my favorite. Discounted price is shown on the orange sticker. Hmm, it's probably not worth seven dollars. Let's just look. This is pretty cute. Okay, so it's obviously so far from fall time, but if you've been following for a while, you know this is my favorite time of the year to decorate for. I like fall more than Christmas. <laughs> it's just, this is like, oh, I just love the orange and stuff. It's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Halloween's my favorite. Oh, see, I could just live on that aisle. So gorgeous. I can't find nothing that I'm looking for right now. These things are so cute. This is nice. $89 for that. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. I thought about getting something like this for my front porch. Or like building one possibly. Probably not. <laughs> but that would be really cute. And then using like the rocking chair out back. Oh man. I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like, what is this? Hold on. What is this? That might work. What are the chances I turn on this aisle? How much is this thing? What? It's 75% off too. I'm buying it. It said 75% off spring. I don't know if it is or not, but my plan was to hook it on one of the hooks as decor or even like lean it on the shelf with some greenery coming out of it. Let's see. Let's try. Hold on. Let me put my phone down. Price check it. Let's just price check it and see how much it is. 15. And that would match with that, which would kind of break up some of the dark 
thing. Okay, so I'm just trying to get some ideas here. If I had a green pillow like this, that would look really pretty. I like this. May your journey always lead you home. I really like that a lot. And I really don't want to put a shelf because I already have the open shelving in the kitchen. I don't want to like overcrowd things. I like that pillow. That's really cute. I'm whispering because there are people in here and I'm kind of embarrassed to be filming. That one's nice too. I wish they just had pillow covers. I wonder how much that pillow is. Dang. Of course, it would be the only one all the way at the top. Okay, so I love this pillow, but I am not paying fifteen dollars for it. Um, seven. What? Okay, I'm going to TJ Maxx. See, and I love these. Are so nice. Forty-four dollars. They're crazy. These are on sale. And you know how expensive these can be. You could stain this, paint it white, distress it, and make your own antique windows for a fraction of what people charge. So, keep that in mind if you're ever looking for one of those. Okay, so I left Hobby Lobby. I got some things that I needed. I am about to run into TJ Maxx like, like that. I have like 10, 15 minutes. I told my husband I'd be home by 8, and I am going to keep that promise. So... We're gonna get in and out of here. And I already spent $91. My budget today was $100, so I don't really want to go too far over that. Um, and I don't go over my budget often, so it's okay if I do a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I really want to get the stuff that I want for this thing. Like, so I'm justifying myself. It's okay. Let's do it. That is so cute. Super, super cute stuff in here, but nothing that I need. I thought they would have baskets, but all they have is those. That's not what I'm looking for. Those are super pretty. I don't know why, but I'm always attracted to that blue color. Those are super pretty, too. The vases here are so cheap. Um, let me show you. $7.99, can't beat that. $6.99. I like that one, that one's different. Let's see. I wanted to show you though, I didn't end up finding a dog food holder thing. And they have these, but I know those are going to get messed up in my house. So I'm at a red light really quick and I feel like the lady next door to me is looking at me talking to my phone. It's okay. Um, it's fine. Let me just scoot up. Maybe she won't be able to see me. <sighs> anyway, um, I left TJ Maxx. I ended up spending $50 there. Um, 50, yeah, 50 bucks. And I went $40 over budget. I'm flustered because I feel like this lady's watching me. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. I got wood filler on my bench. I also took these little hooks off of that piece of wood, and I'm going to go ahead and spray paint, the, spray paint these matte black using this Rust-Oleum Farmhouse Black. I used this in my kitchen when I did the open shelving in there um, with those like L brackets. That's the color I painted them.
All right, so I got the bottom stain so far. The stain color that I'm using is called Dark Walnut. This is my favorite. This is what I use on the barn door. Um, love that stuff. So, it's getting there. This Decorate With Me is literally all over the place. And I started off by hanging up the hooks thinking that they would look really good, but it turned out that the board wasn't long enough and it just kind of looked odd on the wall. Um, especially after adding the sign to the top, the sign was just too big for the space. And I was trying to just roll with it and see if I completed it, if I would maybe like it. And sometimes you have to do that. You just gotta play around, um, change things up until you are 100% happy and don't ever settle. If you want to change it up, don't worry. If you put a little bit of holes in the wall, they can be filled and painted. So don't stress about that kind of stuff. I always just do what I want and fix up what I need to later. Um, you can see here that I ended up adding a board to the back of the hooks thinking, okay, well maybe this would fill the space better. But then I realized that it was getting too much. So I reached out for help. I la asked all my friends like what they thought, their opinions, and each of them gave me different advice so I took a little bit of everybody's advice and kind of made it my own I ended up taking the wood or I'm sorry not the wood the hooks off of the wood and just hanging those on the wall because my sister-in-law said why don't you just try to hang those without the wood that way it's a little bit more of a simple look and I'm so thankful she said that because it looked much better without all that extra stuff this makeover was the perfect example that less is more. The less I had, the better it looked. And in the moment, I just felt like it needed some more, needed extra. And sometimes you just need to ask a friend for their advice. So thank you to everyone who gave me their suggestions. I truly appreciate the help so much, especially on days like this when I get a little stumped. sure you noticed but I got the green pillow from Hobby Lobby that I said I wouldn't buy it was kind of pricey but I knew that if I didn't purchase it I would never find a color a pillow cover that exact size shape and everything so I went ahead and splurged and got it um, I built the bench like y'all seen earlier just out of two by sixes and two by fours stained it with the dark walnut stain the hooks are from Bell's Outlet I bought it on like a little you know wood piece and I just didn't I just took the wood off and then I got the galvanized buckets right here I have I have two of those they came from my dad's um, girlfriend and then I have my gather sign from Hobby Lobby this galvanized bucket I am not sure I think it's from Walmart yeah it is Walmart I remember now it was like eight bucks and then all of my greenery is from Hobby Lobby except this one that one is from Walmart. It's a little on the cheap side. If you get up close, you can you can tell. Um, I personally like to just shop Hobby Lobby 50% off sales or 75%. I This is my favorite greenery ever. I bought a ton of it when I was at Hobby Lobby. But that is how it turned out. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below um, what was your favorite part about today's video. And I will be happy to film more videos like this in the future. Um, but I really hope you all have an amazing day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.